Hmm. What's in the box? Gary here today with another video. In today's video, we're actually doing an installation for the Jeep. I know I've mentioned that I wasn't gonna be installing any more stuff into the Jeep, but I couldn't pass on uh, a few deals that I saw online. I'm on my way to Kelly's shop right now. I'm gonna be installing it over there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, just got to Kelly's shop and the stuff that we're gonna be installing today are new fenders. I got the Bushwhacker flat fenders, I believe that's what they're called. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put the link down below on the ones that I got. I figured since uh, I've been taking the rig on harder trails, I'd go with something, you know, like to give it a little bit more clearance, especially since in the future, who knows, I might switch and get a uh, 37s on the the, the Jeep as well, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I'm gonna start um, installing, probably on one side just to practice, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm installing it on the other side once I'm done. Actually, before we start installing that, this side, the driver's side, I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks like before we um, get started. I'm just gonna lay it down on the floor and let's get this started. All right, so I just removed all the pieces out of the boxes. This is the rear fenders and this is the front fender. Do you guys see the difference? Yeah. These have pieces for me to install to my Jeep. Well, this front fender doesn't. So here's the backstory for this. These rear fenders, I actually bought it off from Marketplace. I thought it was for the full front and rear uh, fenders, but it was only the, only the rear. I thought I was getting a, a deal out of it, but I didn't, so I'm stuck with this. So it has the pieces for the rear, full pieces and everything else. So I went on Amazon, tried, and look, tried looking for the front front fenders for these ones, and then it came with just the front fenders, which is very deceiving, because the description did not mention at all that it didn't come with any of the clips or the uh, screws or any of the parts that I'm supposed to install the front fender. I did message them. Hopefully they can get back to me. Very disappointed about this one. I'm not happy about this. The fact that it was not mentioned in the description and it just came with just the, you know, just the fenders. That doesn't really help me out here. Uh, hopefully they can resolve this and I can get these pieces uh, sent to me, preferably for free because this is very, uh, you know, I'm not very happy with this one. Not, not very satisfied with that one. Anyways, I'm gonna be installing the rear fenders first and then uh, eventually I'll install these ones uh, in the near future, which is later on this video for you guys. All right, so if you ask me, Gary, you know how to install these uh, fenders onto your uh, Jeep? Man, hell no. I'll follow the instructions and hopefully I can figure this all out and um, yeah. Let's get this started. So the first thing you need to do is remove the four clips over here. There's one here, one here. I've already removed this one and one right there. So I just removed all the clippings. Now, next thing to do is just pull it from the front all the way to the back. So the next thing to do is remove any clips that are still on the fender and then eventually just clean up all this gunk over here. <laughs> all right, so all of the clips are removed now. Uh, I think the next thing to do is just to clean out the gunky items over here. Now let's get that started. 
So I'm, I'm just waiting until the inner fender kind of dries out first before I start working on it. But for now, I'm just going to put the weather stripping around the fender itself. Um, I've already done it on the one side. So basically, you try to clip this whole thing through right here and just follow the lines throughout the whole fender itself. And then, yeah, and you're all set. All right, so the next thing I need to do is drill a hole on these six rivets right here. And then uh, I'm gonna be installing the splash guard over there. I'm probably gonna be cutting a piece of it so that uh, it covers the, the important parts right there. And um, I can still use the, uh, you know, the, the splash guard part of the fender flare. Just gotta drill it with the 5 16th on these drill bit holes here. And then we're, we're good to go. All right, so I just separated the fender from the splash guards here. And then now I'm gonna be trimming it just to make sure that it retrofits into the original uh, fender here. And then yeah, just gotta cut this these one here. So the next thing we're doing is basically outlining this whole thing so we can cut it uh, for the inner fender. I'm just gonna uh, use this one and a trace where it's gonna be. Day two. What's up everybody? It actually took about two weeks for me to get the hardware for the front fenders. Uh, today is the day that we're gonna be installing the front fenders, so let's get at it. All right guys, so just like in the rear, you still gotta remove some of the bolts that's holding onto uh, the fender here. I think it's all over here. So there's one, two, three. I think there's one here and also here. I believe you're gonna be using a 10 millimeter uh, socket for this one. Uh, let's start getting to it. So after you uh, take off the uh, side marker connection, just gonna pop this uh, fender off. All right, I'm done. That's it guys. That'll be the end of the video. That's it. <laughs> Imagine. Just having all that clearance and not getting pulled over for VI. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I just gotta clean it up. Remove these clips that's still stuck in here. Uh, once that's done, I think I can start installing it, clean it up a little bit, and then, yeah, get it all started. I already did both sides. I don't wanna waste time like last time. <laughs> all right, so next up, we're gonna be drilling out these uh, rivet holes here. I think there's six of them. One, two, three four, five, and six. Just gotta get that one so I can separate the inner fender uh, from the actual fender itself. All right, so after you drill, just gonna remove all these clips around the fenders uh, just to separate the inner fender and uh, the actual fender itself. Uh, you can use one of these tools, I believe these are pry bars, or a uh, flathead would also work as well too. All right, so I just reinstalled the inner fender quickly so I can line out because I gotta cut this part portion right here, the ones that are, were on the original fender. So I just gotta remove those, uh, gotta cut through here so that uh, it'll be perfect uh, inside once I screw everything back in. So I made the lines where I'm gonna be cutting the fender. It's kind of just a rough like outline for it and yeah, we're just gonna cut both uh, inner fenders. All right guys, while installing this side of the inner fender, I sheared the crap out of this portion right here that kind of holds on to the inner fender up here. So what I'm doing is uh, doing a modification, quote unquote, and just zip tying it to this uh, cross bracing right here and it should be good.
inner fender on both sides are installed. Now all I have to do is uh, start installing all the clips that's gonna go onto here so I can have the, uh, the flat uh, fender flares installed right away. And then I gotta splice out the cable for the marker. And I think that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, didn't get it finished. I kept on screwing up, so uh, I was just gonna do this another day. Uh, at least I got the inner fender and all the other stuff done. I just gotta put the fender um, installed, and I'll be for the next next time I have a chance to do it. I'll see you guys then. Day three. What's up, everybody? Third day of installing these fenders. Finally gonna get it done today. I got my buddy Steve um, installing the camera back there for my rear view backup camera. Uh, while he's doing that, I'm gonna be finishing the fenders. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is uh, splicing the side marker lights. See if it works. I'm gonna do both on each side. Gotta get this one started really quickly just to make sure everything is all good. And then uh, I'll try to run it and see if it works. If it works, then we'll continue on with the, the fender insulation. You just strip those. Yeah. And then you put this guy, this end in. Yeah. And then because it's insulated. Let me just find the right size here. There you go. Like that much. So oh, okay. Need. Cool. Strip the other one that much and then. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Second, this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right here. There you go. All right, perfect. You just squeeze down and I'll yep. do it all for you. Oh, nice. It'll grab it and strip it. Sick. Thank, 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 thank God I have a, thank God I have a uh, electrician here. All right, so after you crimp it or after you expose the wires, you're gonna put this uh, red piece through and connect it onto here. And then now you're gonna use, you're gonna start using the lighter and start uh, fusing the things together. We got all these wiring all installed now. It works, uh, I just checked it. We can uh, double check again, but uh, it works. So if you plug it in here, opposite, so you're gonna go black and white and opposites here. And we're just gonna check really quickly. As you can see, uh, it's kind of hard right now, but yeah, it works. Uh, got the lights going. So now all I have to do now is uh, install the fender and get it all started. So I actually have to put this one into the fender and uh, use the screws that they provided to go through here and then uh, screw it onto the fender, which is the one I'm gonna show right now. All right, so I put the screws onto the uh, side marker here and all I have to do now is uh, put these, uh, put the nuts right, <laughs> put the nuts right behind it, and uh, get it installed. All right. So after you install the markers here and get the screws through, um, you're gonna use this piece to cover the screw part here. It's just a lot of <laughs> It's a little thicker too. Thicker. It's all about that thickness. So it looks just like that when it's all installed. And uh, right now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other fender and get the install on the fender started. Next thing you're gonna be doing is putting this clip here cause you're gonna be using one of the screws to go through here uh, when you install the fender. All right, so next thing you're gonna be doing is uh, using this uh, adhesive or sorry, this alcohol uh, pad here uh, to clean off the rest of these gunk that's on the fender. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be doing is installing these uh, weather stripping onto the edges of the fender here, all the way through. Yeah, and then all you have to do afterwards is just cut it through the proper length, and then you're good to go. All right, so I got the weather stripping on the fender flares. Now just to mount it on the fender. Now I'm just gonna plug everything together and uh, putting this fender flares through. All right, 
So once the fitment is good, I'm gonna be using these screws to screw into those six, I believe there's six of them, uh, underneath the fender flare. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, fender is installed. Looking solid. Everything's all good now. Definitely gives it a lot more clearance. You guys see here? Like, it looks pretty sick. If I say so myself. And on this side as well, front fender looks like that. And I didn't get to film the rear, but here it is. As you guys can see, pretty good fitment. Uh, this side is actually really good on the rear. Um, a little bit of space there, a little gap, a little bit there. Not, not too perfect, but it's all good. Uh, Steve's right there working away. <laughs> and this is the other side. So this part right here is pretty perfect. Like, as you guys can see, flush with there. But for some reason, portion right here, it's not that great. Right there, there's a bit of a gap. But all good, I mean, it's going to get bashed anyways, right, Steve? <laughs> all in all i'm really happy with the look of the fenders gives it a bit more of an aggressive look and uh with a wider flat fenders it'll give a little bit more uh clearance for me when i'm flexing a little bit i hope that it helped out a little bit i'm not the best at installation so uh you know i'm just learning as it goes uh, it took a long time just because of uh time restraints uh over uh over there at kelly's shop uh when i had the time but got to finish it looks really good i'm really excited about it that'll do it for this video if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so please subscribe to the channel also hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future videos until next time guys like always stay awesome hey everyone if you want to watch more of my content check out the two videos i have on the screen right now it really helps the channel to get noticed by the youtube algorithm thank you for watching have a great weekend and i'll see you next week